All right, so now we created our session and we joined our session for the speaking test demo. All right, so now the students are logged in already. Um, now I'm going to show you how to use the breakout group function in Blackboard. This is very important because it allows the teacher and the co-assessor to conduct a speaking test with the students with the student that's going to be using the test at that specific time without allowing all the other students to listen during the speaking exam. It's kind of like a waiting room option. So in order to do that, you go ahead and select share content and then select breakout groups. All right, here under Assigned Groups, you're going to select Custom Assignment. Now make sure you do not allow attendees to switch groups. We do not want students to do that. All right, now the main room, which is going to be like the waiting room, with all the students are waiting before the, uh, for the speaking test. Now we're going to rename Group 1 and call it the Speaking Test. Okay. Now we're going to move members or participants to the speaking test, which is going to be the teacher, the co-assessor, and the, the specific student that's going to be tested at that allocated time. And remember, um, the co-teacher or co-assessor is going to log in using the... Um, guest link that you're going to provide to that teacher so now let's move the members into the speaking test group so as you can see the co-assessor has joined the classroom so I'm going to move him or her to the speaking test group and now I'm going to select myself as the teacher So if you scroll down, you'll find that you have the, the teacher and then the co-assessor. And now we're going to move in one of the students. If you look below, now we have the teacher, the co-teacher, and the student. All right. In order to activate it, we need to click on Start. And there you go. You will see that um, the participants in the speaking room is going to be moved. And there you go. You have the co-assessor and the student. Again, if you don't see yourself in the group, go back up to the main room and move down into the speaking. And then you want to activate the audio and the video if you, um, if you like, and then you can conduct the speaking test. Again, there are three people, the moderator. Now the co-teacher, if I want, I can make him also the moderator, which means that both can activate or speak during the exam, can activate the share screen. While the student, you can select here to make him a presenter, or you can move him back to the main group or you can remove him from the session once you have completed the session. Remember also, um, during the speaking exam, there's going to be a, um, a picture that a student must describe. So all you have to do is click on share content 
and share application screen you can select the entire screen or the application window or a Chrome page of the specific uh, page. For example, here, just as an example, I'm going to select Share. The student will be able to see this screen or the picture of the PowerPoint. And if you go back to the session, again, you're sharing the screen with only your speaking group, breakout group over here, you see over here. Okay. Um, once you have finished this, uh, the picture from the speaking exam, click on this uh, stop sharing button at the top right. Okay. Continue your speaking exam. And when you're ready and the student has completed the exam, all you have to do is click on the three buttons over here. Uh, return him to the main room or remove him from the session. All right, when you're done with the breakout group, um, all you have to do is click on the end breakout groups with the stop sign here, and you'll be able to go back to the main room. Okay. This is how you use the breakout group and Blackboard for the upcoming speaking exam. Thank you for listening.